Lashkagar is the capital city of Helmand province. To understand its importance, first you need to understand Helmand. Once known as the breadbasket of Afghanistan, the province is famous for the Helmand River and the lush green farmland which borders its route down Helmand's spine. From the beauty of the Kajaki Dam in the far north, when it reaches the city of Lashkagar, it merges with the Algandab River and flows on through the deserts in the south. The river gives Helmand its fertile land. A huge US-led irrigation project in the middle of the last century expanded the hectares given over to agriculture. Farmers grow crops such as wheat, but also in abundance is the more profitable poppy, which supplies the opium trade. Inevitably, it is a factor alongside the huge factor that we've wrestled with throughout, which is corruption. Corruption is endemic in Afghan society at every single level. And we now find ourselves in a situation where we don't have the boots on the ground that we did previously. And that obviously makes it incredibly difficult, if not impossible, for us to really support the effort that the Afghan National Security Forces are engaged with in terms of maintaining security and holding the line against the Taliban. Supply routes are equally important to the opium trade. Lashkagar is connected to Kandahar in the east and Iran in the west by the main ring road, Route 1. It's also connected to the north of the province by other major roads, linking it not only to the commercial trading centre town of Goreshk, but also to the main poppy growing areas of Nadi Ali and the Sangin Valley. Lashkagar is a relatively small city of around 200,000 people, but it serves as the political centre for the province. The government buildings are here. It's the seat for the provincial governor and his ruling council. There are Afghan National Army and police headquarters and training centres. Whoever controls the city is perceived as controlling the province. A lot of this is a homegrown insurgency. You know, a lot of these fighters in Lashkagar will, will, will be Ishak Zai from Sangi. You know, there's no doubt about that. Homegrown, genuinely disaffected with, with central government, with, with no interest in coming under the writ of central government authority. In 2006, Lashkagar became the headquarters for the British deployment to Helmand. Task Force Helmand was co-located with the provincial reconstruction team, which carried out aid projects across the districts. Although Camp Bastion out in the desert was the main logistics and supply base, the war fighting was controlled from main operating base Lashkagar. This was a counterinsurgency mission after all, so the location of the HQ was deliberately among the people. Lashkagar remains symbolic for veterans of the Afghanistan conflict. Lashkagar has a totemic value to the British. It was the headquarters. Uh, of the British uh, in Helmand and the headquarters of our provincial reconstruction team from 2006 to 2014. So, so it, is, it, it has a totemic value to all of us that, that stood there. But, but it's actually, it's only a city of about 200,000. You know, Herat is a city much larger, 500,000. Know, and Kandahar is, is a significant city. It's the second major city of 600,000. So if or when Lashkagar falls, we, we need to put this into context. You know, it, it is a largely symbolic victory uh, by the Taliban. You know, it doesn't mean the end of this. It doesn't mean the fall of Kabul or the complete end of this campaign. What makes this city so important, strategically and symbolically, also makes it valuable to those who wish to control the country. As a result, the Helmand people have been at the centre of decades of conflict, and that looks unlikely to change anytime soon. Charlotte Banks, Forces News.